Hopefully your breastfeeding sessions are getting more efficient and you're able to more quickly feed your baby. Watch my earlier videos for tips on breastfeeding newborns. Stick to an every three hour schedule and remember to fully empty one breast so that your baby can get as much of the hind milk as possible before you move to the other breast. Try to keep your baby awake during these feeding sessions by changing their diaper or changing their outfit. Try to burp your baby and then to offer them more food to make sure that they are awake, full, and rejecting more food. That is the sign that your baby is ready to stop the breastfeeding session. Try to pump for five to 10 minutes to stimulate your milk production and equalize how much each breast is producing and try to put your baby down for naps between feeds. I've always believed that having a schedule allows you to make sure that your baby is getting enough food and that they get the rest and the naps that they need. If your baby wakes up though before you thought you were scheduled to feed them, by all means, feed them. My six week long experience in the NICU with Bracey has really confirmed my belief in this approach because in effect, the NICU that I was in ran on an every three hour feeding schedule. Administering milk to Bracey and all the other NICU babies every three hours, a certain quantity that they timed. This is very similar to the way you can try to breastfeed a newborn baby. By schedule, I mean feeding and sleeping plan. If your baby demands a feeding earlier, by all means, feed them. For your convenience, let me quickly pop the every three hour feeding schedule up. But keep in mind that every three and a half hours might work better for you. Go over all this with your doctor. 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 7 p.m., 10 p.m., 2 a.m., and 6 a.m. 